Well, we've travelled down to Mark Cavanagh's stable for the release of nominations for four of the big spring features this year. And, of course, the star attraction today was Atlantic Jewel. As well as yourself, Mark, great to see you back from your holiday. How was it? Yeah, it was a good holiday. It's great to be here. You've got some fine weather that's come back with you. It's good to see her out today, Atlantic Jewel. How's she coming along? Yeah, she's coming along fine. I'm, I'm very happy with her progress at this stage. That's the way. And you had a jump out with her the other day. Um, without disclosing, I guess, too much, what's your plans going forward? Oh, look, we'll have another jump out on uh, Friday week. Uh, that's a week and a half today. So uh, after that, depends on the weather where we resume her. Would you, uh, would you like to get her to Mooney Valley before she goes there for uh, for the Cox Plate, that's the the grand final. We've always used the the Dardo Tan Chin Nam as a, a key lead up race with Hubie Got You in the past. Well, that could be an answer for it, but uh, where we sit right now is she's unbeaten in Mooney Valley, so uh, where where when and where we go there, that doesn't matter to us. How many runs do you think she would have before the Cox Plate? Uh, look, she might have four, she might have three, might have four. We'll wait and see. Yeah. What about, uh, obviously, she's a, a star, we know that, the seven starts, seven wins, and we saw today that she's going to be a real star attraction throughout the spring. Well, yeah, look, she's a popular horse and uh, everybody loves a winner and uh, hopefully she's taken the next step and, and can go on from where she left off in the autumn. It's a race that you've got a great affinity with, the Cox Plate. Well, wouldn't anyone? I mean, look, we've, we've won one and it's pretty hard to win two, but uh, certainly it's, it's uh, everyone tries to win that race in the Melbourne Cup, yeah. yeah. And what about uh, December draw? Uh, how is he coming along on the comeback trail? He's going really well. He's finished right out. He's put a lot of weight during the time off, but it's been muscle, it's not fat, and he's better in the coat this year than he was last year, so we're hopeful he can uh, win another decent race for us this spring. You got him nominated for both the Cox Plate and the Caulfield Cup. Have you, have you set a grand final for him? Is it more about just getting back to the track and seeing him reproduce? Well, it's more seeing how he performs. I mean, look, last year he was our handicapper and, uh, you know, he was favourite in the Caulfield Cup with a decent weight and, uh, you know, unfortunately that didn't happen. So, you know, we've just got to wait and see. He is a Group 1 winner, so uh, we'll see how he's treated in the handicaps and which way we go. What was the, the nature of the injury and is it one that you you know was difficult to get him back to, to where he is? Well not really, look he, he was galloped on in the Caulfield Cup and he broke a piece off of his splint bone and that's knitted back on okay now and everything's fine with him. Obviously they're the headline acts, so I've got to ask you about another one though, there's an international entry Sharalam in your, uh, your name there, tell us about it. Uh, look Sharalam's a horse that uh, was purchased by some clients of mine from Ireland. Uh, you know, the Rock Ebony boys have purchased him and uh, he's a lightly raced, very promising stayer and uh, he would be a lightweight chance in those cups. What about the rest of the spring? Who else are you holding high hopes for? Well, who knows? The rest of my team are, are actually rookies, you know, look, uh, young three-year-old horses that uh, are yet to do too much. Well, shaping up as a big spring. Um, thanks for having us here today and, uh, and good luck for what lies ahead. Thanks. It's always a pleasure to have you guys here. There we go, Mark Kavanagh here hosting the release of nominations for the Caulfield Cup and Cox Plate today.